Hello everyone, it is Kaylin and welcome back. Last time we hung out with our favorite ladies, we got to experience some brotherhood, and we also got to experience Toko's obsessive crush on Biakuya, it seems. Which is the worst thing out of all of the things just listed. I think I just have free time now. We're still exploring in chapter two. Realistically, I could go hang out with Celeste and Toko again, but I, I almost feel like I should spend time with other people, maybe. Like, I don't think I should just give all of my time to Celeste and Kyoko, but also they're my favorite, and I want to. Uh, let's see where people are in here right now, though. Like, Hifumi, uh, Hifumi is very low on my list right now. I feel like that's probably not surprising. I like Hiro, but, like, he... I, I, he's just kind of, like, middle of the list for me. Like, I like other people more than I like him. Mondo is great. Kiyotaka is also great. A little bit better than Mondo. I like both of them a lot, though. I like Chihiro. Uh, it's kind of middle of the list for me, but she's cute. We do not like Toka. Not a fan. We will not be hanging out with Toka. Uh, I love- Hina and Sakura are actually great. I love them. Together. As friends. Just gal pals. Just girls having fun. Okay. Anyway. Uh, alright. Well, none of the people that I- I don't- I, I don't know if I should talk to Mondo or Kiyotaka. Like, I am tempted to just go talk to Celeste or Kyoko again, though. Okay, goodbye, Mondo and Kiyotaka. <laughs> I don't know if there's a way to pull up the other sections of the map unless you're, like, actually in them. Oh, there's Celeste. Uh, I think we talked to Kyoko less, so let's... Let's go talk to Celeste this time. I guess I could have just teleported to the gym, probably. Wait, where is she? Oh. I thought she'd be at the end of the hall. Most unfortunate. Does this school not have a dry cleaning service? How terribly upsetting. What am I supposed to do if my clothes become soiled? Hmm, should I hang out with Celeste for a while? I think so. There is nothing to be done. Normally, my pride would not permit me to allow you to be alone with me. But, fine. I will allow you to entertain me for a while. I killed some time with Celeste. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. No, I still don't really have any good presents for her, I don't think. Is that it? I didn't get to have a conversation with her? Ah, uh, okay, fine. Announcement, school announcements. Nighttime is quickly approaching. Oh. But before it arrives. Uh, a different announcement tonight, it seems. All students, please gather in the gym immediately. I don't like this. We never like this. Emergency! Emergency! Oh, no. Gather in the gym? Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. You know, uh, before we go in there, maybe we should just save. I feel like that might be a good idea. I don't know. I don't like the sound of this. Makoto doesn't like the sound of this. Either way, something seems a little off, so I feel like a, a save there is probably the best move. Let's go uh, see what's going on in the gym. It certainly can't be good. Oh, there's my girl. I should have talked to Kyoko instead of Celeste. Oh, Kyoko, did you hear the announcement just now? Indeed. Yes. I don't want to go, but we don't have any other choice, right? Right. I can't imagine it's going to be good news, but it's not a good idea to defy him here and now. Goodbye. So I'm going on ahead. I really can't do anything except what Monokuma tells me. That's true. Are there any other people I can talk to around this area? Cause that was that was a cool little conversation with Kyoko, so 
No, just Mondo? Okay. Yo. Hey, man. You about to head in? Yeah, has everyone already gone on ahead? <laughs> Looks Shit. that way. I don't like it, but nothing's gonna- good's gonna come from ignoring that goddamn bear. Um, Mondo? Are you sure you're okay? You kind of went all out in that sauna. What? Huh? Who went all out? That shit doesn't even phase me. Yo. But, you know, <laughs> there at the edge of hell, a promise between men was waiting for me. Never saw it coming. Yo. Anyway, let's get our asses into the gym. Man, something unique must have happened between the two of them. Maybe they made a man's promise not to murder anybody. Or to murder somebody together. Who knows? <laughs> oh, wait. I want to get used to teleporting more. Cool. Fast. That is weird, though. I'm trying to pay attention to the things that are being pointed out to me more, I guess. Because I assume that the trials and stuff from here on out are not going to be, like, as hand-holdy as that first one. Hey, Hifumi. How come you haven't gone in yet? Why is that? Mr. Nayagi, don't scare me like that. S sorry, but we should really go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. Are we not gonna ask about his ghost friend? We're gonna just let that... We're just gonna let that slide? Okay. Damn, that's true too! I... Suppose. I guess we don't... We have no choice! I have to go too. Who is his ghost friend? Is it one of our three friends that have died? Is Leon a friend? Two friends that have died and Leon? Hmm, asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well, indeed, what might await us this time? <laughs> hmm, he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. Um... How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode? What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. Hmm. Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm. Huh? What? What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Nothing in particular. Just admiring. That's all. Wait, what was that exchange? I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here, living in blind denial day after day. <laughs> I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Well... Th that's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange. That's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck! Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control even of the police. Could it be... Oh, this might not be related, but... <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. Nope. Gonna say it. It's not like some occult mystery. It's about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. When all of a sudden... I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that... I don't really know what it was. <clears throat> w what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it... Could it be... It was like a construction site, I guess? That is very strange. A construction site? For serious? I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. 
Then you d definitely made it up. It must have just been the sound of the ocean in th that head of yours. Is this Monokuma? Say what? What you talking about, Toko? I, I assumed that was Monokuma, but I didn't know where to go with the voice for that. Okay, that is, uh, that is what I thought. <sighs> He's arrived. <laughs> what Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. What? Huh? Or maybe a machine gun. Hoo 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 hoo. And that can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? What? Ha ha ha. Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. And? Fine. Then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? If you please. But before that, you mind if I vent a little? <sighs> I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking, it's probably become of this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. Oh gosh, what incentive is he gonna give us this time? I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, the I'm next feeling... Blackened hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey, um... So, I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Oh my gosh. M motivate Is it another set of videos or something? Are you going to show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Yeah. Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say! Just awful! You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. Got it. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Hmm. hmm, that's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So this time, it's... Embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating of my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. I those see. embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. I I'm see. going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at her feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was in fifth grade. Dude, whatever. That's not embarrassing. That's not your fault. Look, it is what it is, dude. That, that's actually not that bad. What? Oh. How? Yeah. How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. <laughs> you have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, Extreme. all your deepest most embarrassingest secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate? <laughs> yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we'd never kill o over something like that. What? What? What'd you say? Count on it. 
He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for so this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. Oh, oh no. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff. That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed, fare not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym steps. So, um... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one? Um... I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is gonna be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me! Good news, everyone! I have a brilliant idea! You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Without a doubt. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen! Okay, so, my embarrassing thing is... <laughs> I don't... don't want to hear your stupid story. <laughs> what? <laughs> Besides, I don't... I don't want to talk about it. I don't c care what anyone says. I don't want to talk a about mine. As for me... Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on, it's come okay, on. just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly, as I said, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Hey, I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Say what? I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Chihiro? Uh, I'm sorry. Um, sorry. I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are. So maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um... If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited about to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. Well, well, that's okay then. Either way, it's just a few secrets. I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? <clears throat> I'm so curious- the videos, the secrets, I just want to know what everybody's uh, shows or said. Gimme. Okay. I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... You hear me? Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're gonna die because of it. <clears throat> so you know, um, don't do anything hasty. <clears throat> the way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but... Ding dong, ding dong. Nighttime. Time for bed. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. 
Hey guys, I have a mm. feeling that maybe someone's gonna be dead tomorrow. Just an idea. Nighttime already, huh? Okay, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but we left things as they were and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. I have a feeling someone's gonna get murdered tonight. I don't know who, I don't know who I think will get killed. I think the likeliest murder right now is probably be Akuya. Although, you know, Celeste seems a little likely too since she keeps having her personality breaks where she breaks character and I'm like, hmm. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe Toko? Like, I definitely feel like we're being shown little snippets of people, but not not enough yet. Okay. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle. Geez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. I called it! Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active. I mean, for example, it's the difference between like, oops, I, oh shit, I did not mean to hit click on that. <laughs> oops, I killed him and something. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? But there's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action, it's way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. I have been trying to read between the lines the whole time, Monokuma. I have no idea what you're telling me. I'm doing my best, okay? Morning. Good. Good. Is this Monokuma? I feel like every time we get question marks, it's Monokuma. Good morning. Good morning. I was right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Nice reaction! I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint! Well, what what are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up, so instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun. Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates. What? Say what? <laughs> what? Your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What? What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> That's for me to know, and you to find out. Good luck! Something's happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No, what ifs are pointless, especially now, when... The dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall! Oh, very few people ah. here. Ah, Makoto. Uh, um... Are you okay? Hey. 
Did Monokuma talk to you, too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... The Akuya. I read that before it even came on the screen, wow. It's cause I'm psychic, ha <laughs> ha. Teehee, just kidding, I'm intuitive. Anyway, you're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? <laughs> Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said. Or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. The something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um... so, so, if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. Look, we really have no idea how dark some of these secrets were, to be fair. Hmm. Just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly, someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? Yeah. To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? What the heck? W what? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. What good does it do me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um... There's something wrong with him. For serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is that we find out what happened. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. Hmm. The game is afoot. Uh... Okay. Well, I, I, I knew it was coming. I knew it had to be coming soon. I'm I get I'm not surprised at all. I feel like that was pretty like telegraphed to us. But also Oh I okay, so it, it can't be Hina, Viakuya, Sakura, or Hiro. I oh my gosh, who's it gonna be out of the ones remaining? I, it better not be Kyoko or Celeste, which I don't think it is. I I, I have a feeling that like I, n neither of them seem like they're gonna end up dead yet, but maybe I could be wrong. <laughs> Celeste seems more like she's going to murder someone, if I'm gonna be honest here. <laughs> Just an idea. That being said, out of the people that are left who could be dead, I'm trying to think, because we, we have a lot missing. We have Kyoko and Celeste, uh, Chihiro, Toko, Hifumi, Mondo, Kiyotaka. There's a lot of people that missing. Oh no, the Brotherhood boys. If I had to pick out of that group, I'm guessing it's probably Toko, Hifumi, or Chihiro. My, my bets right now. We'll see. We'll find out next time on the next episode. I think I already just saved, but that's not the save. <laughs> I'm gonna save again, just in case. No, okay, I didn't save. Good. Uh, alright, awesome. Well, I guess we'll find out who's been murdered next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you could please like, comment, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye!